So I think throughout the pandemic, we have seen um, a shift from more formal volunteering to more informal volunteering. The pandemic created obstacles and barriers for organizations that rely heavily on in-person volunteer efforts. National Volunteer Week, that puts a spotlight on recognizing volunteerism might hold extra weight coming out of such an adverse time. Volunteerism does prevail, though, through tough times, with people always finding a way to help. At the beginning, we had a lot of senior volunteers, and without the vaccine, we were quite cautious of making sure that we didn't have a vulnerable population in our warehouse. So we definitely recruit a lot of new volunteers who are willing to come in and help and make a difference. Volunteer Canada works with about 150 volunteer centres across the country. The centres work with volunteers to connect them with specific organisation or opportunities within the community. We definitely saw people wanting to help out in lots of ways throughout the pandemic, and that's where people really started with this informal volunteering. I recently learned that the term caremongering is a Canadian term. So this notion of how can we help our neighbor, uh, what do they, what does our local community or those in our local community need, and how can we be of service, um, you know, right where we live kind of thing. I think we've seen that as a trend that's really emerged in the pandemic. The Calgary Food Bank needs people helping in person. They have over 200 volunteers a day with 150 in the warehouse and 50 out in the community. So we are always looking for volunteers. We know that people have given a lot of their time and energy over the pandemic and they may be experiencing burnout. So we respect that. And if you're fresh and you want to donate, but you can only give your time, we're here. We've got a couple of hours a week or you can commit to months. You can Google Calgary Volunteer Centre for a good place to start if you are interested in learning about different opportunities in the city. In Calgary, Danina Falkenberg, City News.